rows of radiant light stripes, the vessel-shaped base. This site may look like a land-based aircraft carrier, but it's actually a maintenance center for high-speed trains. So today I will take a look at how these bullet trains are taken care of to ensure a safety travel. It's 11 o'clock in the evening, and the trains are visible on the way back. When the 400 meters long train finishes work and arrives home, guess what the first thing it does? Take a shower. Take a look at the big brushes set in motion, similar to how cars are washed. But you can barely see any people on duty at the site, because they operate the system behind the scenes. That we monitor the machine's actions in real time from the back end. Additionally, our system uses recycled water, making it an environmentally friendly approach to car maintainers. Given the washing machines mainly cleans the sides of the train, when they arrive at the workshop, the front section requires manual cleaning. On the other side of the depot, you can spot the rhythm of body movement along the carriages. It's not some popping dance, just their usual daily checkups, and it's clear they mostly relied on their bare hands and eyes. For ordinary trains, tools like hammers are used to tap and listen to determine if there are any loose parts. But for the more advanced high-speed trains, if a screw is loose, it's detected by pushing or twisting it by hand or making sure the lines are properly aligned. Zhu says with such skilled body movements, more than 10,000 screws and other components can be inspected in just 14 minutes. Venturing deeper into the maintenance center, there are also trained doctors, as they are commonly called, conducting health checks on the so-called legs of the train. The major train components, such as the wheels, need to undergo an ultrasonic test. It looks like the B-mode ultrasounds for human body, right? Similarly, Another crucial step, cleaning the ventilation system, the equivalent of lungs in human body. And such secondary maintenance is often more time-consuming, so train depots are making every effort to ensure an increased supply of trains during the travel season. To meet the demand for trains, we've made adjustments to the maintenance schedule. We've proactively conducted a secondary maintenance on trains in advance, ensuring that it doesn't affect the deployment of train sets. After a night of care by people in different positions, a fleet of high-speed trains having undergone a full recharge are ready to embark on new journeys, taking people back home. Huang Chang, CGTN, Wuhan, Hubei Province.